Morning guys, happy Tuesday. Yeah, it is Tuesday. Can we just deal with what is going on with my skin? I am so stressed out at the moment and my skin is just dire. Like I haven't seen this it this bad in so long and my eyes are puffy and uh I'm just I'm very stressed out at the moment. So much so Jimmy's taking a bit of time off this weekend to spend with me to kind of help me a little bit with my work and I'm so relieved that he is taking a bit of time off. He also suggested to me to book to get my hair extensions done. He was like, get your hair done. I know you miss having your hair extensions in and I know that sounds like such a petty thing but I feel like it'll really make me feel a bit better. I just, oh I don't know, I just feel a little bit overwhelmed at the moment. I think doing something like getting my hair extensions back in or get my eyelashes done is gonna like help me a little bit. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Sometimes I hate being real on line but I feel like you guys need to know that not everything is like daisies and rainbows and sunshine and blogger mail and it's not all fun trips and happy things. It's can be tough at times and working for yourself is one of the hardest things I have ever done. Jeez Louise, it's extremely stressful. I'm going to do what he suggested, I'm going to book to get my hair extensions in. I know my hairdresser is probably going to kill me. I actually don't care because I think it's going to make me feel better. It's something small just to perk me up and yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So this morning we're going to have a coffee because I'm going to film today and I think that is going to put me in good form. Well, I'm hoping it will. Babe's coffee. <laughs> I absolutely adore this coffee. Put a sticker in there. I'm sorry, guys. It's so noisy. <laughs> oh, come to my coffee. I need you this morning. I've drank like a pint of water and now I need this. So I just finished filming my first impression of a foundation and this has been a highly requested foundation and I'm just excited to kind of see what I think of it and see if it's actually worth the hype because it's only six euro I think it was. I was going to say pounds but I think it is actually six euro so it's even less than six pounds. Wow. I released that uh, Jeffree Star video yesterday, the one where I was reviewing the Chrome collection and I don't know, like, it went fine, like, you know, people seem to enjoy the video, but, like, I was getting an awful lot of backlash and hate, which I kind of expected, but I didn't expect to have to, like, block and remove comments and block people, is what I mean. I just find it, like, ridiculous at this day and age that people just can't be nice to one another, and they weren't attacking me, they were attacking each other in the comment section, that's just ridiculous. Like, my parents always told me never to ever be rude to somebody, never be disrespectful, and I always kind of lived by that why can't people just be nice and it's only makeup like it really is only makeup there is nothing serious about makeup so why do people have to have rows and argue and I think that's another reason why I was just feeling so kind of shite today because I was just kind of like why are people rowing in my comment section and I, I hate having to block people I hate having to remove comments I feel like you know free speech and all that but when they're hateful things that have been said like that's just not cool anyway that's just my two cents on the whole thing and the jeffree star drama like leave it behind if you don't like jeffree star why did you click the video just to leave a hateful comment or attack somebody else i don't get it and i asked you guys did you want to see it and you all said yes it wasn't just me being like i want to film this video i wanted to film something you wanted to see if you all told me like don't want to see that video don't film it i wouldn't have you know I just wouldn't have done it. So that's kind of just annoying now today and it's just like not necessary. <laughs> I just got off the phone to Platinum Hair and I'm getting my hair extensions done next Thursday. So I know Vicky is going to have a small heart attack and probably kill me the next time she sees me. But I just feel like I wanted them done. I feel like they're going to make me feel a bit better. I have been feeling a bit rubbish this week and last week and I just feel like they're gonna perk me up, so I'm doing it. And I booked an appointment to get my nails refilled as well on Friday, so I'm I'm feeling better already. And oh, I don't know what was going on with me this morning, and I do need to do food shopping. Oh, me and Jimmy have kind of eaten through the whole house. Actually, I picked up fish, so I'm gonna have that for dinner tonight. I just need to pick up some veggies, like peppers, etc. So perhaps Jimmy might get them on the way home from work because I just feel like once I start working, I'm gonna want to be in like the 
motivation to continue it, if that makes any sense. Oh, oh, I got an order from Beauty Bay this morning and loads of my LA Girl products arrived, which I'm very excited about. That's very noisy. Very excited about it. I'm nearly done. I nearly have all the LA Girl products that I need for the video. Just one thing was out of stock, so I'm waiting for it to come back into stock to order it. And I think that's it then. We're ready to go. We're ready to rock and roll. We're ready to fill on that. I am so excited to do it because LA Girl is super affordable. Like, I mean, the lipsticks were like two or three euro. And I'm just really excited to kind of see what the whole brand is like as a whole all over my face. I'm waiting on one more eBay dress to arrive, the Debs prom dress, so I can do that video too. And yeah, I got my Nivea stuff all done, filmed, dusted, ready to go. So I have to send that off to my agent this morning. I also think I might be working with another cool brand to promote an app, which is kind of fun because I haven't ever done something like that before. So I will check up with you guys later. Okay, so I'm still sitting here. I'm done filming for the day and I've just sent off all my stuff to my agent, Dave which I feel so relieved about, like everything is gone and I'm just kind of so happy about that because I think that was like a huge major stress in my life. I'm not going to edit anymore today, I'm just going to kind of continue to vlog and stuff like that throughout the day because I just, I feel too overwhelmed with stuff right now. I'm just having one, a bad day, that's all. And I'm going to, I think, go downstairs, make something to eat and play Crash Bandicoot for the rest of the day because I mean, that's all I kind of want to do. Like I said, I'm doing the foundation first impression. So I will be coming like back throughout the day to update on that, but it's nothing major. And what do you guys think of this foundation three hours in? We're in natural light and it's not looking too bad. Like it's not the worst foundation that I've worn, especially after three hours in. So if it kind of continues the way it's going now, it might be like one of those foundations that I recommend to everybody, but who knows? Who knows? My pretty little things order arrived. I love getting pretty little things order. I got a tracksuit. What the top looks like. I'll try it on there for a sec. Um, I will leave the code there and I'll link it down below. And these are the bottoms. They're like a, I don't know what you'd call them, like a peach shade. That's probably the best way to describe the color. This is what it looks like. It's so cute. It's peach. And I got it in a size six and it fits perfectly. I love this. Like I love the high waistedness of the leggings and that's what it looks like at the back. It's just loungewear. I probably will wear it out if I, I don't know if I'm going anywhere that I don't really want to get overly dressed for. How cute is this? Okay, so I'm back working here again. I'm doing my thumbnail. I know I sent off most of my stuff to Dave this morning, but I'm just trying to get the rest of my stuff sorted. So I'm doing a thumbnail for a new upcoming video. I'm done and dusted with work for the day. Thank God. Oh, I just want to go sleep now. I'm so tired. Last night I did not sleep well because I was kind of stressed and stuff and I feel so much better now that everything is done, like all my work is done. I feel amazing and I will be doing updates obviously of the foundation and stuff. I'm not liking the look of it now at this stage, it's getting a bit oily. So yeah, for five hours in it's, it's alright, like it's holding up I suppose. I'm going to do an update. Oh my. My mum and dad actually came home the other day from their holidays and they look great. Like my mum's on medication because she has um she has rheumatoid arthritis. So she's on medication for that and it makes her mouth come out in like these bad ulcers and stuff like that when when she's in the sun. It's just whatever way the medication reacts. So her poor mouth was all kind of infected, poor devil. But um she is much better now. And I must call over to see her tonight because I want a hug from my mama. My dad looks great. He's so tanned. I'm so jealous. Both of them were super, super tanned. So nice of them to get away though together. And I think next year, mum would like to go away as a family. So like me and Jimmy and Ollie and maybe her boyfriend, Dave, who knows. I'm meeting up with Michelle this weekend. And I was supposed to go to a birthday party, but Michelle asked me first and I'm dying to see her. So I'm gonna obviously spend the time with her and I just can't wait. So I'm looking forward to that th this weekend. And like I said, Jimmy's taking off Thursday and Friday, I believe. I must actually text him now to make sure that he does book it off. And <laughs> we're gonna just relax, I think. Our anniversary is coming up as well. We're gonna like plan celebrating that. I don't know what we're gonna do. Last year we went to Galway, we usually go to Galway because Galway is like one of my favourite parts of Ireland. I don't really mind what we do because anytime, anytime we do anything together it's nice because it's just time spent together. Hi Harley. 
Look at the fuzzy head on you. What are you doing? Sleeping. Always sleeping. You have the best life ever. I would love your life. Sleeping all over the place, putting your hairs all over the chair. You just don't care, do you, Harley? No. No cares at all. Look at the little paws of them crawls. I'm not sure if you've ever seen this plant in my vlogs before. I know it's just a plant and so boring, but this is the first thing I've ever grown in my entire life that hasn't died. And it's so successful. Look how long it's after getting. My mum has one in our kitchen at home and I wanted one for my kitchen. She put rooting powder into it and took a stem off it and look, it's growing for me. Oh my God. And actually, today is the 4th of July. So happy 4th of July to all of my US followers. There you go, 4th of July, woohoo. I actually went to America a few years ago for the 4th of July and I loved it so much. I went to New York, then I went to Virginia and I went to Washington and we we're in New York. We were at a baseball game, I think, the night of 4th of July. My God, baseball goes on for a long, long, long time. I think it was like six hours long or something. I was So I was saying to my cousins that they should have come to Ireland to watch a bit of a rugby match. And they came over when we won the Triple Crown, I remember, and, and we beat England, I think it was on St. Patrick's Day. It was like the best night out they'd ever had. Won like the Grand Slam or the Triple Crown or something like that. I was too young. I wasn't even supposed to be going out on nights out. But they went all out and they had like the best time ever. Come over to Ireland for St. Patrick's Day and you'll know all about celebrations. Even though, like I said, 4th July was amazing in America and I definitely recommend it to any of you who've never been to go for 4th of July. Any of ye when you were younger ever watch Eights and for Rules? I used to watch it when I was so young and I remember thinking like Bridget was so pretty and I wanted to grow up and look like her. So weird and now it's on Comedy Central again so I'm re-watching them all. Oh I used to love her. Oh she's so pretty. This is my favorite episode ever. I just love it so much. I just love it. <laughs> oh, I'm so back on top with these. Hello, Mary Kate. Hello, Ashley. <laughs> so we're gonna have some fish tonight and I'm putting it in the oven. So we're just gonna put some tin foil in first and the fish in on top. So just put the fish in the silver foil in the baking dish and then I'm just going to put this Irish cold press virgin rapeseed oil and this has lemon in it. I just put a bit of garlic in and then I'm just going to squeeze some fresh lemon on top of the salmon. This smells amazing. And then I'm just going to put some chili on top of the fish. And lastly, I'm just going to put some paprika on the top of the smoked one. That's my favorite. Next up, I'm doing the potatoes. So I have sweet potato in here and then just regular baby potatoes. Jimmy's boiling some baby potatoes for himself. So I only put on a few little baby potatoes and then the sweet potatoes we're going to share. And again, I'm just going to add the paprika, smoked paprika and the chili. I use the chili rapeseed oil on these just because I prefer the chili flavor and not the lemon. Now, so they're ready and they're gonna go into the oven and I'm just gonna put them in for probably about 20 minutes and then they'll be nice and crisp. I've chopped up all the broccoli and they're just gonna go in here to steam up over the potato. There they are, cooking away. Okay, so they're in there about five minutes now. I'm gonna put the fish in because that'll take less time to do. In goes the fish. There you have it guys, some fish, broccoli, and sweet potatoes, and baby potatoes. Oh, and then we've got the garlic that got a bit burnt, so we'll leave that out. <laughs> oh, so I'm just after finishing my first impressions of this foundation, and guys, it's 10 hours on my face, and it's looking pretty nice. I have to look back in the footage now and see what it looks like on camera, but this is 10 hours of wear. I mean, I remember editing old vlogs and doing other first impressions, and I'd be wearing a foundation, and my face would be just so so oily like we're in the middle of the summer it's quite humid today and well it's humid where I am and my foundation has held up really really well I'm 
so impressed with this foundation. I just was watching Sacconi Jolie's downstairs and I was showing Jimmy the episode I watched the other day and I was just getting so emotional with the one where Amelia finds Blanky Bear and her reaction and her tearing up and stuff. Jimmy had to see it. I was like, you have to see this. I used to have a blankie when I was little. Well, I still have it. I used to bring it everywhere. Like, I mean everywhere. So Love Island is on right now. I'm going to go down and watch that and then watch Big Brother. Apparently it's all kicking off in Love Island tonight, so I will... Like, well, I won't fill you in, but you can watch it yourselves and let me know what you thought. So this is the end of the night, guys. I'm just taking off my makeup. I'm using that double effects. I go through this like it's water. I constantly need to be rebuying it. I am going to have a shower now, but I wanted to do a face mask. So I think I'll do one before I get in. No. What I'll do is I'll have my shower and then I will put a face mask on. My eyes hurt so bad tonight. I don't know, maybe I pulled out like 10,000 million lashes or something. <laughs> More than likely I did. I'm just taking that micellar water now just to take off the rest of my foundation. This foundation's been on well over 12 hours now. You can see how dark it was on my skin. That was definitely the wrong shade. Ugh, I'll do my second cleanse when I'm in the shower. That's the best job, I reckon. I'm after having an incredibly, incredibly lukewarm shower. I didn't even check to see if there was any warm water in the cylinder. I just hopped on in and it was freezing. I'm gonna put this mask on tonight. This is the Mint, meh, Mint Julep Mask. And I get mine off iHerb. It's so affordable. And it's just like the mask of Magna Minty from, from Lush, in my opinion, but like a fraction of the price. I think this big thing was only like three euro or something it does wonders to my skin i'm trying not to do too many masks or aggravate or, or put on too much makeup and all that okay so guys this is just drawing now i look like i don't know what i look like right now i'm just after hopping into bed and i'm going to look at a couple of you a couple of youtube videos while this is drying and yeah my hair is damp i don't even care because i'm not sleeping on this pillow anyway so it doesn't make any difference i'm gonna watch a couple of youtube videos i think i want to catch up with I think Shannock Souls. No, I watched Shannock Souls new videos. I think Casey Holmes might have put up a new video and I didn't get to watch that yet, so I'll probably watch that. And then there's a couple of other girls that I want to watch tonight. I'll know when I go through my subscriptions. Definitely finishing off the day much better than it started. <laughs> so there you go. Things do get better throughout the day. Thank you so much for watching today and I will talk to you all tomorrow. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye.